Hello friends, now we see theorem which based on parametric function of chapter differentiation. The theorem is if x equal to ft and y equal to gt are two differentiable functions of parameter t such that y is a function of x then dy by dx is equal to dy upon dt whole thing divided by dx upon dt comma provided dx by dt not equal to 0. Now let's see the proof. The proof is quite simple and important. So let delta y delta x and delta t be small increment in values of y x and t respectively then mathematically delta y upon delta x can be written as delta y upon delta t whole thing divided by delta x by delta t provided delta x upon delta t not equal to 0. Then taking limit as a delta x tends to 0 on both sides. So the next step will be limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x that equal to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta t upon delta x upon delta t therefore limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta t whole thing divided by limit delta x tends to 0 delta x upon delta t now as delta x tends to 0 delta t also tends to 0 Therefore, the next step will be limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x is equal to 
limit delta t tends to 0 delta y upon delta t and whole thing divide by limit delta t tends to 0 delta x upon delta t let us this uh, denote as a equation number one now given x and y are two differentiable functions of t It means limit delta t tends to 0 delta x upon delta t is equal to dx upon dt and limit delta t tends to 0 delta y upon delta t that equal to dy upon dt it means the limits on right hand side of equation 1 is exists and finite therefore the limit On left hand side of equation 1 should be exists and finite. So therefore, limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x is equal to dy upon dx. So finally, the equation 1 becomes limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x that equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta y upon delta t upon limit delta t tends to 0 delta x upon delta t becomes dy upon dx is equal to dy upon dt whole thing divide by 
dx upon dt provided that dx upon dt is not equal to 0. So this is proof for the given theorem. Thank you.